So step one, find Nikki. Step two, convince her mom ain't coming back from the dead. Step three, get that stone away from her and mop the floor with that Magus thing. You show no shortage of assurance. Yeah, this one's Mr. Positivity. It's enough to make you sick. The stone is both bondage and bridge for Magus, and a young mind is most malleable. If Magus is merged with her, she may not survive the Severin. We won't let it come to that. Not to join the Golden Downer, but how are we supposed to find the kid? What are you... What's going... Oh, Flark. Oh, Flark. They can go anywhere, convert anyone. We need to go now. Why does that sound like you're not coming with us? These are my people. Some still survive if I stay. Then we'll stay and help. Go. I'll be where I'm needed when I need to be. Just trust me. Don't go dying. I'm starting to actually get you. Papa Squat Golden Boy, you're making me nervous. Or perhaps your nerves need gnawing. What did I do? This precarious plan proves more meek by the moment. The Madonna was meant to be among us. She knows what she's doing. Eventually. What sorry sins I have wrought to rest me among such a motley crew. Did he? Did he take my room? Not so much as a yip from the mud. Groot says he'll keep trying. Where's Mr. Fancy Words? It is assumed Peter Quill's quarters was a daring display of dominance. Don't you start. Usually I'd say, who needs him, but we do. So you better fix this one, Quill. Just try not to piss him off any more than he already is. If it is to be a fight to the death, I will honor the outcome. If he kills you, I get your guns. bet on Peter winning that fight. It took all five of us to beat him last time. I still can't believe he caught one of my smart bombs. Just like that. We have already fought the man. Hold on. You don't remember? Moore, are you okay letting Mantis fight the church alone out there? She won't fight. She'll focus on evacuating people. Maybe they can all hide in the caves. So she's just gonna let the church take over her home world? Mantis would tell you that people matter more than the planet. And she knows that the church won't stop coming until we rescue Nikki. You have great confidence in this celestial Madonna. She's one of the few people I know I can trust. Really? She freaks me out. Because she's smarter than you? And kinder. Hey, that nickname makes my skin crawl. I'm furry, not fuzzy. Not even that little. My shoulders are sore. Glad you're back on our side, Drax. I got a feeling we'll need to go full destroyer on this one. I shall be ready, Peter Quill. I have witnessed the threat posed by Magus firsthand. No one should suffer from its malignant lies. I owe all of you a great debt of gratitude. It would be my honor to fight beside you with all of my might. That's a lot of might. <laughs> Groot agrees with you, muscles. Sounds like we've got ourselves a nice church butt-kicking party. 
I only hope our guest agrees to join this buttock-striking celebration. Hey, Quill. You seem like you're in a good mood. Huh? Do I? I've got a great idea for a new blaster extension. Can't wait to put it together. Well, now that the gang's back together and we've got a minute to breathe, I think you deserve an official thank you for what you did on Lamentis. <laughs> Quill, I, uh... I know you don't like that kind of sappy stuff, but I really mean it. Knowing about the crap those scientists did to you, not only does it make my blood boil, it puts everything into perspective. Oh, come on, it was just a puddle. I don't know if I could have gotten over something like that. You saved our lives, man. You deserve a bit of praise. The rodents saved your lives, and scientists were involved. I have many questions. Yeah, well, save them for the next time we all get a drink together, buddy. Okay, let's make some flarkin' cool stuff. One shiny upgrade, nice and crafted. Now that was some quality crafting, if I might say so myself. Hey! Warlock, open up. This is my room, you know. And that would be my cassette cover. You pen this pithy poetry? It's not poetry, it's music. Hard rock. It's supposed to have guitars and bass and drums. Simplistic scriptures, as is its scribe. Okay, what's your deal, man? What did I do to piss you off? Your lamentable leadership allowed the Madonna to leave when we needed her talents to travel to the telepathic realm. Mantis had good reason to stay behind. We just need to get Nikki and get the hell out so we can find her again. Your tenuous tactics trust too much to fortune. Can you confidently convince me your meager measures may amply manage this mission? Yes. Absolutely. Wise words. Sure and measured. But beheld by my bemused misgivings, your demeanor differs distinctly in direction from my more willful ways. Maybe we can meet in the middle then. Yes. An oath! Will you own an oath to operate with greater aggression? To give gravitas to gravid seasons of your soul and struggle not to stand on destiny's icy flows? Sure, man. Whatever it takes. Then assert it! I swear I'll be a good leader. That I'll be decisive and, and, uh, that I won't let Manus do whatever she wants. I stand partially reassured. What about you, Mr. Fancy Words? How do I know you won't see Raker and have a change of heart? Why would I weasel away? Didn't you used to be best buds with him? We were common company for a fleeting fallow, through which I witnessed the incommensurable extent of his sadness. He mourns his lost son. That's why he's doing all of this. The church, the matriarch. Because he wants to get his kid back. But that can't happen, right? Megas can't... No. Cannot. So? We can count on you? When you reunite with Raker, that man's gotta go down. Indubitably. I'm glad you stopped Corel from killing the Shatari Queen. I'm sure she was too. Would a wanton hand supply sustenance to this chamber? He's asking for room service now. Come get your own. We've got a full fridge. Well, not exactly. So, how is he? Frustrating. It's like talking to Suzanne Harris at the summer dance all over again. 
Ain't that the Humi girl you tried to impress with your yo-yo skills? Yeah, and it went about as well as talking to Mr. Cape. What's a yo-yo? You have closed the refrigerator door. Yeah, I do that sometimes. I thought I was the only one who ever bothered. I thought I was the only one. I observed the tree closing at once. Hey, that one's from Lamentis. Does that mean it's a sacred plant? Groot, did you steal a sacred plant from Lamentis? According to this, the collector reported Groot stolen 14 years ago. Ahem. Can we help you? Oh! Hey! Rocket! Groot! Sup? What are you doing snooping through Groot's scut, Quill? I am Groot. Well, maybe you should mind. Whoa, 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 guys! Groot, I didn't mean to invade your space. Seriously, I would never do that. I was just curious about this report thingy I found. <laughs> yeah, the report thingy that just so happens to bring up a lot of painful memories for Groot. Real smooth, Quill. I am Groot. It's not fine. The Collector kept you in a frickin' cage like some... some kind of animal. As if it weren't bad enough you lost your entire planet. I am Groot. Fine. Groot says he'll answer your stupid questions. What happened to your homeworld? I am Groot. You never told me that. I am Groot. What did he say? He says the Shatari blew it up with a, an experimental doomsday device. Holy crap. That's awful. <laughs> Ain't the worst part, Quill. Groot says after Planet X was blown up, the other branch worlds mobilized. But they weren't no match for the Shatari and also got destroyed. I am Groot. Far as he knows, he's the last of his kind. Oh, Groot. I'm sorry. I don't know what I'd do if Earth was destroyed, if I was the last human. I am Groot. He says it's not so bad. He's got us. How'd you end up with the Collector in the first place? How do you think? He stole Groot. I am Groot. Fine, you tell it. I am Groot. He says the Collector found him at the start of the war, in the wreckage of his planet. Holy crap. But just a piece, a splinter. The rest got destroyed like everyone else. Just a splinter? Does this mean you can't die? <laughs> I am Groot. He can still die, but he ain't gonna, cause I ain't gonna let him. <laughs> I'll replant you a million times if I gotta. So, how'd the Collector find you? I a drone found him, dormant in space. Guess old Tivin scours the galaxy for new specimens. I am Groot. Slavery ain't the same as saving. I am Groot. He insists the Collector saved him by planting him, and also keeping him in a das cage until I stole him, hence the stupid Flarkin report. Is it? Still... Active, the report. Will the collector come collecting? You see any gold domes around lately? Fair enough. I know we don't talk a lot, Groot, for, you know, obvious reasons. <laughs> but I can't imagine this team without you. I can't change the past, but I can't commit to making the future better. I am. 
He says he knows, and he's grateful. Kinda glad Loop the Loop stayed on Lamentus. My ears were ringing from all her nonsense. I prefer Mantis's nonsense to Warlocks. The Golden Man is perfectly intelligible. Sure, his words make sense. I'm just having trouble with all the pathos. Yeah, like. What's with the dramatic wardrobe change? Who sleeps in a cocoon and owns a cape? Hmm. Capes are nice. I actually dig the cape. Hey, Groot. It may be up to us to stop the church in nowhere. You ready? I am Groot. He's worried about the mutt. Says it would be easier with his help. I didn't think Cosmo would let the church take over his station, but if they got the Cortex, then... He is but one canine against the army of the Converted. That explains why we ain't been able to reach Cosmo. If you don't answer it, they'll vaporize us. I will handle this communication. All yours, buddy. Deceased wife and daughter are with me. To thank the matriarch for her gift. May the promise be fulfilled. You are clear to land on the spaceport. Them bars and betting parlors and noodle joints. Maybe it's not as bad as it looks. I assume it will be worse. Raker rallies regiments while we wait, whistling in the wings. Landing as fast as I can, go. What the flark? Great cocoon boy thinks he's a butterfly now. He is a man of action. Let's just hope that he can keep the church busy while we look for Nikki. Didn't think you'd be able to bluff your way through security muscles. I am quite adept at deception. We're gonna need more than that to get to the Continuum Cortex and rescue Nikki. Especially with Golden Boy jumping ship. Should we, like, try to find him? Time is running out. We cannot lose focus if we are to save the girl. Drax is right. Let's just hope Warlock can do a bit of damage on his side. So, final showdown against Raker. This time, you'll get him for good. I intend to. We're not leaving here without Nikki. Just so you know, I'll do everything I can to save your girl. I, I know it's important to you. Your kid sure got herself in a deep, Quill. Her mom died, man. If Warlock's telling the truth, that thing inside her is using Corel's death to manipulate her. I get it. Ain't gonna be easy getting her out of there, but I'll die trying. Gotta make the Flarkers pay for what they did to Nowhere. And Contraxia. And all the killing and converting and stuff. I am Groot. Groot wants you to know he'll do all he can to save your kid. You know what? I think I kinda understood that. Ready, Drax? I am. 
My blades are as sharp as the rodent's tongue. Was that a metaphor? It was a simile. Just wanted to make sure you didn't have any lingering effects from the promise. I know the evil it conceals. Magus and the church must be stopped. Let's do this. Time to save Nikki. Peter. Okay. Just be cool. Let me handle these guys. Travelers, have you come to witness the fulfillment? The what now? The realization of the Matriarch's promise. The beginning of a new world. One without death, or pain, or fear. You should know this. Weren't you vetted and cleared to land here? What? Of course we were. How are you not aware of the fulfillment? Something is wrong. These heretics must be stopped! Attack! Spaceport. They have been very busy redecorating. All the more reason for us to get to the Cortex and find Nikki. Sure are a lot of ships patrolling. Just be thankful they aren't shooting at us. Scott! Cosmos Tower's shut down. Are you good? That's because it's never been dark before. You do realize some of the guys shooting at us were nowhere security? This does not bode well for the dog. Never was the much biggest fan, but we could have used the backup telepath. Just because the tower shut down doesn't mean Cosmo is too. Last time we were here, he knocked out me, Gamora, and Drax, and Lady Hellbender's bounty hunters, like it was nothing. We just gotta have faith he's okay. Really, Peter? Faith? There does appear to be an excess in the story. see in the marketplace the same thing we saw when we flew in yeah but it'll be up close nowhere oh, really stunk sometimes but Clark over there there's so many of them I thought most nobodies would have rejected the promise everyone wants something they can't have yeah, but... yeah I don't know rocket like Gamora said everybody wants something the church tailors their offer to the individual seems to me most of them would give in or they'd be killed not an easy choice. They got Clark and Faith batteries everywhere. Just like on Hal's Hope. Perhaps they have built another giant ray gun inside the Continuum Cortex. To siphon Faith from multiple worlds at once? Is that even possible? The energy ain't filling these batteries. It's moving away from them. So they're powering something. Sure looks like it. A 
Don't suppose we could try tricking them again? Make them believe we're all promised up? Not unless you can fake that purple glow they all seem to have. Shh! Try not to give ourselves away. Lousy fun walkers! Get ready to die! They do not fear death. said that they were bringing they can't raise the dead especially after we save Nikki I had a contact here no 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 put up on what maybe whoa, whoa, whoa. Cat free he always gave Groot the creeps <laughs> Looks like we can squeeze through. We must be close to Mantlo's bar. Can you see it? Not really. There's a lot of debris in the way. There is no way through this wall. There could be a bunch of wackos just waiting for us on the other side. Good point. Peter, you should find a way over to check. Whoa! Peter! Well, that didn't work. Clark, I'm going in. What about the fanatics? I'll toast them if I see them. We're the only ones who can do this, right? Back here, Quill. Looks like you're gonna have to yank a chunk free from this side, though. Gamora, you should be able to get your sword in there now. Give me a boost. Oh, Scott! Not Mantlos. Look at her. This is personal, Quill. Don't leave me hanging. <sighs> I've been thinking about what Morlock said. He hasn't stopped talking since we met him. About how Nikki and that Magus thing might be too intertwined to save her. I know how much you love this dive. It was the one spot in this whole Flarkin galaxy where a guy could feel safe. I mean, except for the bar brawls and the security raids and the bounty hunters. We'll drink to it later. Right now, we've got to keep moving. Wonder if any of these fortune tellers saw this coming. Unlikely. They were all charlatans. Most of them were pickpockets and fences. Pretty useful people to know. And yeah, what do we need the Golden Boy for anyways? We were doing fine without him. I was not fine. Magus was devouring my soul. Your memory is suspect. Warlock's stronger than any of us. And he's got a pretty good reason to hate Raker. So you buy his ripped my soul in two story. Just saying, if anybody stands a chance going toe to toe with Raker, it's him. And we're gonna need the Grand Unifier out of the way if we want to stop this ritual. Throw the meat into the meat grinder to keep it busy. That's not what I. No, I'm on board now, Quill. It's a solid strategy. They must have started the fulfillment already. Why? 
I just figured there'd be more converted around up here. More turkeys dropping in! They'll be dropping like flies soon enough! Hold them down, crew! Let's keep it down. They don't know we're here. Looks like a dead end. For some more than others. Why do you cry, Rodent? I'm not crying. I'm just remembering all the drops I did here. used to be right here. Did the church destroy it? Doubt it. The Collector probably blasted out of here at the first sign of trouble. Before the first sign. The Collector's supposed to be able to see the future. Oh yeah? Never saw me coming, that's for sure. Had no idea I'd bust Groot out of there. I am Groot. <laughs> Hero? <laughs> Don't get all mushy on me now. Looks like the church is trying to keep us out of there. That's not gonna work. Careful, Peter Quill. Guys, look down. It's an awful lot of light. You're thinking it's the full Flarkman, ain't you? But it could just be runoff from the cables. Whatever these whack jobs are up to, they need a lot of juice. Perhaps this is how they powered their fleet to reach Lamentus. Maybe Raker's trying to reanimate the Celestial Head. Bring it back to life? Perhaps he wishes to turn it into a ship. Ah, this thing's deader than dead. It ain't coming back and it ain't jumping through no hyperspace. You say Celestials are powered by hyperspace. Regardless, we must reach the Undercity to find the girl and stop whatever they are doing. And we'll have to be ready for them to try and stop us. The converted ones will be prepared to die in order to bring their loved ones back to life. Which is pretty ironic if you think about it. Our level of cooperation is invigorating. We have become a formidable team. Yep, sure have, Drax. Ain't we just one big, happy flark and family? What are you doing with that garbage? She's not garbage.
Good. Gamora, wait! Hold on a sec! Why? So more children can be sacrificed in the name of Rager's flarked up church? No, of course not. Just... Just what, Peter? I don't know. Breathe. Every minute we waste. We don't have time to breathe. I know Raker brings back bad memories. This isn't about Thanos! It's about Nikki! And what men like Raker and Thanos do to girls like her. Like me. My sister. If I had just been better at protecting Nebula, maybe... Maybe she wouldn't be dead. Whoa. What? Nebula's dead? How? By who? Tell me, so I can find him and shake his retacking hand. By me. You killed your sister? She is the one you saw in the Matriarch's Promise. That's how I knew it was a lie. The nebula I knew had been twisted into a hateful, vengeful monster thing. One who would never stop unless I stopped her. So I did. I just never expected to survive. Why didn't you say something? It's not exactly a conversation starter. Hi, I'm Gamora. I murdered my sister. Can we be friends? Of course we can't. How can you be friends with a monster? Why would you want that on your team? A team I actually... I kind of enjoyed being on, all things considered. Well, uh, I hate Nebula, so I actually would have... What? I'm just saying it don't change nothing. Actually, it changes everything. The most deadly woman in the galaxy just admitted... She loves us. <laughs> I did not. You did. You said you were in love with us right after the part about killing your sister. I said I enjoyed your company. That is the Katathian definition of love. Like. I I'll give you like. C can we just move on? Agreed. That's about all the love fest I could take.
We accept you, Gamora and Uberi. No. This is excruciating. All right, I'm pretty sure we've all caught our breath. Let's say we go stop a nut job cult leader. Yes. Get to the bridge. Cosmos Tower is the quickest way. Too wide to cross. Maybe we can bridge the gap. We keep saying bridge, and it's starting to sound like a made-up word. All words are made up. Drax? I have been eager to topple something over. You see that kid in the ritual thing? I could not miss him. You think the church did that to his head? Or was the poor sucker born like that? Really? A faith force field? If we can find the power source, we should be able to turn it off. Let's get looking then. You know, I usually hated when that Cosmo spotlight would shine down on me. But now I kind of miss it. I did not know you were so sentimental. Almost drowning changes a guy. Disconnect the power, Quill. Oh, Gamora. That's it, Peter. Let's go. We need to get out of here before Raker shows up. All right, get ahead. Let's book it. How is not the tar- <laughs> Guardians of the galaxy. The Matriarch has chosen to enact the fulfillment from this station. And you shall not stop her. She hasn't chosen anything. You've been manipulating her from the start. She is the light. 
And I am merely her servant. Kinda hard to be the light with that dark monster thingy inside of her. Blasphemy! You may have rejected her promise, but you will believe when it returns you from death's cold clutches. remains forever. Now cease this stubborn senselessness before it reaps a ruinous reward. Ruinous. Oops. Well, you're a big target, that's why. You're fucking lucky you got 
got that jetpack! I swear! I swear! Now it's Nova! They're gonna need a huge recruitment drive after this! Posterior, his champion cheeks. Giving up. Just in time, because we're not getting back on that bridge. I know where we are. There's a road nearby that intersects the main bridge to Cosmos. Where? It should be, uh, right below us. <clears throat> What's so special about Goldie, anyway? Yeah, he's strong. But what good is strong against ridiculous, unrelenting firepower? We need to be on the other side of this thing. Drax, buddy, let's make a hole. That's one way down. The best way. Still, still at it. At least our guy seems to be winning. Must suck to be a celestial head, just floating around the edge of the universe's stuck toilet. And then parasites move in and build a space station, they start digging out your brains. Until a death cult evicts everybody and starts blowing up what's left of you. ba ba, -ba boom baby! We sure are destroying a lot of advertising today. Like we need another reminder to buy Calex cream. 
Perhaps we should summon the ship to deliver us to our destination. Ain't no way they'd let us land anywhere near the big party. Better off fighting our way there. Indeed. Oh, you gotta be farkin' kidding me. I am Groot. Uh, Groot thinks we'll be nowhere royalty once we save it. Assuming they don't blame us for the Grand Unicorn. We're so close. I don't suppose Groot knows another side route. If I could just get to the other side, I could hack that thing and drop the bridge. If you can get to the other side, we can get to the other side, and it wouldn't matter. <sighs> Throw me. What? Throw me! Just get muscles to huck me across. Do you have any idea how far down it is if you miss? We ain't got time to argue. I'll make it. Leave this to me! Valued member of this team. How many tools will be thrown about? Worried about this ritual. And what's really gonna happen if we can't stop it? Ain't gonna be dead people coming back, holding hands and wagging tails, that's for sure. We won't have to worry about that. I know I can get through to Nikki. This is Raker's doing, not hers. I won't give up on her either. Nor will I. Yeah, and neither will the Grand Unicorn. He will regret it. The battle must have been tremendous. Is any of this structurally sound? How dumb are these Flarknards to even fall for this full Flarkman garbage? Magus demands adulation, trapping you with vile illusion while feeding on your soul. I felt it in my promise too. That endless hunger. Oh yeah. Hungry is an understatement. Holy faith! All that light isn't leading to the Cortex. It is the Cortex. How could that mutt let this happen? Looks like you'll get to ask yourself. This isn't going to end well. Cosmo! We've got to get down there! You count him out to get again. I've seen him get out of worse scrapes. Get that! Away! The beast is being exposed to the Congress! No! These belligerents do not stand a chance! Unleash me onto these 
them now. He's our friend. Yeah, so is Drax. And I ain't going inside this Fleabag's head. Maybe it doesn't have to come to that. Hey, buddy. Are you, uh... <laughs> Take him out before it's too late. Wait! He's still in there. I can hear him. I hear only barking. Focus your mind. He's there. Uh, oh, Flark, it just shoot the mutt. Uh, easy, bud. Friends, remember? He's Peter Quinn. Cosmo knows never lie. Yeah, buddy. It's me. It's all of us. Where is it? Cosmo Smilb? Smell of nowhere. Where else would we be? Fur brain. His mind is addled. Or he is simply a dog. He doesn't see us. He's still in the promise. Cosmo, where are you? What do you see? Blue sky. And cars to chase. Cosmo is big. Duma. How you see? Home. He's talking about Earth. Smell of fresh grass. Feeling of dirt between paws. No psychic burden. Just walkies for going. And the ball for fetching. If you missed your home planet, could you not simply return at any time? Nowhere is your home. Right here and now. Nowhere is nothing. Dead head. Mind for scrap. Way more than that. This place is special. If by met you mean I saved your bark, then yeah, we met here. It's true. Nowhere was first place since Earth. Go 
those who not feel like stray dog. First time, Cosmo for kid. This place is a haven for misfits like us. Like you. It's home. Earth is just some rock where you were born. It's not about rock. It's about what Cosmo had on rock. Foot of bed for sleeping, belly for rubbing, collar with name. You miss being someone's property? Cosmo not property. Belong to family. Then one day, family gone. Men in suits sent Cosmo into space. Cosmo searched many dog years for those he lost, but yet. You had owners. It sounds like they gave you up. What about your puppies, Cosmo? They're your family. Cosmo Young are... They're here, man. And they're counting on you. For love? For protection? But humans call for Cosmo to heal. Must, must be loyal. loyal. Those pups actually need you. Be loyal to them. Don't abandon them in space the way you were. Cosmo would never. But you have. They're somewhere here on nowhere, maybe needing your help right now. Come on, Cosmo, you gotta know this doesn't smell right. Piotr Quill is right. Cosmo human have no smell. They are wicked perversions. You must bite them with all your might. Be gone! Cosmo not fictionalize! That's it, buddy. You tell him! Nowhere is Cosmo home be. His pups, his family, will protect the dog cause! Sick him, boy! <sighs> Should we help him? I mean, we may need him. I am optimistic for the beast's recovery. Cosmo's got his mission. We've got ours. Let's get to the Cortex. You think he'll be okay? He's got a thick coat. All right, I still got access codes from when me and Groot were on vacation. You mean when you quit the team? Why do you always gotta be so... Flark! Attacking Scratch Snatchers, gah! Cosmo changed the codes. I guess so. All right, people, let's find another way through. Perhaps you entered the code incorrectly. I have made the same mistake. With those sausage fingers? Of course you have. These nimble digits don't make mistakes. You I wonder if the church even realizes what was being mined down here. They're standing on top of the most valuable resource in the galaxy. Brute's right. This is a really old mining settlement. Everything was nice and crumbly even before the church shot everything to hell. I know it's slow going. Blame the Flarknards who wrecked everything. Do you know any shortcuts? In case you ain't noticed, the entire geometricals of this place have been Flarked. Come on, let's do some demolishing. Can you carve this for me, Gamora? And rob the big guy of his fun? All yours, Drax. An intriguing texture. I fear I will regret this. Peter, we're running out of time to stop that ritual. Maybe try the visor? So, stolen codes, jail time. What exactly were you and Groot doing down here before? We took a contract from a guy at Mantlo's right before you stumbled in and caused all that ruckus. How was I supposed to remember whatever riders? If it had been a Star-Lord song, I'd have been all over it. What was that? An earthquake? Unlikely. We are not on Earth. Whatever they're doing, I think they just took it to the next level. The ritual must be starting soon. Good question, bud. How do we know we could even stop something this powerful? Eh, probably a question for the bug lady. Raker said Nikki chose nowhere for the ritual, right? Yeah, I'm gonna have a hard time letting that one go. But that means Magus chose it. 
probably because of the Cortex and how it can provide instant access to all believers everywhere. Guardian of Galaxy, Cosmo is owing Bolshoi dead. Welcome back! Hey, we've got an army of church dudes between us and the Cortex. You coming? Yeah. Cosmo is retaking power of security where his cops are hiding. Without power, nowhere is being lost. Cops too. Gotcha. Be careful up there, buddy. Watch the large one explosive! Cut to the chest! Feeling really exposed in this pit! Our enemies are just as exposed! It's the mind! Enough already! Oh, what are these lights time. obscuring my vision? Hey, Quill! I think the big guy's seen stars! Feel this? What's down that giant? They say the real valuable chunks are down there in the Palamus! Ha! Good luck with those mines now! Time to shred up! I can't think straight with that Nova Corps idiot tossing all these mines around! Up you get, big guy! Crush him, Drax! This might be a problem! Why? The enemy crew is persistent! That was too close! Let us resume with full force! security detail. Gross. That's a lot of brain powder. Yeah, that stuff will turn your airway to sludge. Gray lung, they call it. Good thing I've got my mask. Oh, that won't help. Them particles are so fine, they're already seeping right in. You probably already got the gray lung. Lungs are already gray. And you know that... I have seen them many times. Drax, a little help, Peepo? Readily. Set her down, bud. What are you doing? That's the way we came. I'll be quick. <laughs> uh, Groot's asking if there might be tiny people living inside our heads, like nowhere. It is a valid question. Many homes are made from wood. Groot, don't listen to the scary man. Drax, this one's all you. To where shall I move it? Drax, over here, hurry! I move as swiftly as is necessary. Well, you know I was just messing with you. What's that? There ain't no such thing as gray lung. <clears throat> oh, yeah. I know. Did you guys know? Oh, yeah. Naturally. You're always good for a laugh, Quill. I think you can anchor to this wall. Seems doable. Uh, right there should be fine. Let's do this. all those towers and pods. There ain't no zone in here, so it could be anything. I know one of them's half library and half pleasure pod. I really hope it survived. Don't leave me hanging. 
What do you see? Um, same stuff, but higher. to see all my investments go up in smoke. What investments? A couple seed fundings into illegal weapons research, funneled some units into goon training, a couple of bets. You had units this whole time? No, they were invested. Whoa. <gasps> Careful, this place is practically falling apart. Could be all of nowhere looks like this soon. We'll get back on its feet. Giant head does not have feet. It used to. Small marvel crafted. Got you covered. Ugh, got a crick in my back because of that. So they just up and left all this once they discovered the cortex? If by up and left you mean that butt went barking mad and booted everyone out, then yup. Not surprising. Imagine that thing falling into the wrong hands. We don't have to. Hey, Gamora. No way. Hey, Groot. Think you can get me up there? Right about there. This seems important to our task. I want to get a look from up high. Scoping. This place smells weird. If it's the brains. It goes sour if it sits too long. It smells like metal and I don't know something else. Creo. What's that? It's the waste product of a large Catathian slug. I'm not sure slug piss is exactly what I was thinking of. It is unmistakable. Oh! Tremors have intensified! That's one way of putting it. It is an accurate statement. Oh, what have they done to you? I don't know what's more dizzying in this place, looking up or looking down. Do neither. Look your enemies in their eyes. What if I could? Staring down somebody's crotch ain't as effective. My baby! You, uh... Okay, Rocket? No, I ain't okay. The Cortex, nowhere! What's gonna happen to this place? This filthy dump of cheap booze and shady units is the closest thing I got to a home. This isn't the first time someone's tried to take over nowhere, and it won't be the last. We've still got Cosmo on our side. Once we give the church the boot, he'll whip this place back into shape. <laughs> Hopefully not too good a shape. Thanks, Quill. Ugh, I have minor hiccup we need to consider. How do we even shut down the Cortex now that it's all supercharged? Yeah, there ain't gonna be an easy off button on that thing. Any chance you can hack it? Uh, we ain't talking about some junky appliance. The Cortex isn't the problem here. It's the Flarknards who've hijacked it. We take them down, and the Cortex is just a machine with nobody at the wheel. Uh, you know there is a wheel. I, I saw no wheel. Yeah, there ain't no wheel, but I don't like the idea of just leaving that thing powered up with church scut. We should focus on them faith conduits. I'm betting they all route through the same junction. That's gonna be the weakness. Bringing more goo! How many do they have? 
can't keep getting pulled into skirmishes. Like we have any choice. They shoot, we shoot. Over here. Guess we're climbing brains again. Gotta get across that gap first. Just so you know, I'm reserving the shower indefinitely after this. All right, group. Let's make a bridge of our own. Let's watch out for quakes. Man, I really hope Warlock makes it to the finish line. Are you brute? <laughs> no, Goldie ain't counting on us. To him, we're just a bunch of scut soiling his fancy boots. He's seen what we can do. More importantly, we know what we can do. All right, easy now. So, once we get Nikki, we... Wait for Warlock to catch up? And the bug lady. Our plan requires a great many people. Let's just take it one thing at a time. Get Nikki and stop this fulfillment thing. How pragmatic of you. Try not to count my chickens before they hatch. That would be counting eggs. Now is clearly not the time for that. Careful. It gets a little. Whoa! whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Peter, do you want to do the honors? Totally. Watch this! Surprise, Scott Parkers! Feels like we're up against the entire army! Looks like we're crashing the freight convention! Tie them down, Groot! So many of them! Gonna cost me a fortune in ammo! And stop relying on Captain Reed! Almost there! Push through this! They will regret angry, Tuffian warrior! That was 
got a grenade with Raker's name on it. Whatever they're up to with the Cortex, it stops now. This is nowhere. Our nowhere. Destin right. Let's show these Flartnards the door. I'll show them. My blade. It'll be a glorious battle. We are with you, Peter Quill! <gasps> Everyone quiet! What did they do to the Cortex? Nikki! They strapped her to their Flarkin machine, and they're making the hand direct all the galaxy's faith energy right into it. Fulfillment has begun. We gotta get her out of there, but how? Free the hand, and they lose power. I count four cables. Let's pull them out. My blade should be able to slice into them! Do you think, Gamora? <laughs> Can't believe they strapped her to a fucking machine! Can't believe they You don't have to ask me twice! This one is primed for punishment! We need to get Nikki out of there before it kills her! It ain't happening as long as all that juice is coming out of the hand! Where's the warlock? Practicing his poem somewhere! We're coming, Nikki! It's not seen! It'll be a slide! Oh, I can't believe they enslaved the continuing Vortex! 
Rocket! Safety's off!
Nikki! It's okay, I got you. Get your hands off me! Why do you insist on ruining everything? If you won't join me, then just stay away. This is why I don't have kids. Nikki, this isn't gonna end how you think. Says who? You? I saw what you did. You should want to take it back. I can feel the light inside me. The promise will be fulfilled. Does she not realize her plan has been thwarted? <laughs> A minor setback. Isn't that right, Grand Unifier? The Cortex was meant merely to ease the burden on you, Matriarch. We shall retreat. Please, give me an excuse to kill him. Is this him? The first divine vessel? A pale shadow to your magnificence, Matriarch. Let him watch me do what he could not. I'll draw faith across the entire galaxy myself if I have to. If you think you can handle- I'll handle whatever it takes. Nick. Getting far. I got a tracker on Golden Boy's butt. You what? Yeah, I tagged him back on the bridge in case he ditched us again. We just gotta get back to the Milano. <laughs> Rocket, don't ever change. Confirming Goldie's on the Dast and Sacro scut. Seatbelts, everyone. We're going in hot. Crap. Hold on. Hold on. Got him! Alpha Hercules system inside the Keystone Asterism. Got it. Coordinates are in. You're not getting away this time. down. Hell yeah! Nova Core! The world mind must have... Say we didn't try. Nikki's in there somewhere. There's got to be a way. Yes, we overpower them with our own vastly superior fleet. But regrettably, we do not have one. Guys, we do our best work when we're out of options. Somebody's got to have something. Gamora, thoughts? Maybe Earth has heroes that can help us? Those guys in the pajamas? Mighty pajamas. Trust me, Earth hasn't caught up to everybody just yet. We need somebody with a fleet. Drax. You have royal blood. Perhaps it is time for the Prince of Spartax to return and rally his people. You been to Spartax lately? I have not. But Spartoi technology is well beyond... Spartax was sacked during the war because of its tech. You can't even land there anymore. Ah. 
Rocket, anything? Uh, what about the Ravagers? You could ask for a temporary truce. Yondu's rotting away in the kiln, thanks to me. You could bust them out. Jailbreak the kiln. I'd rather take my chances with the church fleet. I'll bust them out. Yeah, I'd bet on Gamora. As would I. So would I, but it doesn't matter. The rest of the Ravagers scattered during the war. Any survivors are laying low or serving time in one of a dozen backwater planets. Besides, what's a pirate without a ship? Groot, and no bad ideas. Yeah, that's a bad idea. We're not going to the Shitari. That is the kind of wild card we're looking for, just not that one. The snakes would shoot us in the back. Assuming they don't shoot us in the front. Hold on. What if the answer's been slobbering right in front of us this entire time? This beast cannot operate a ship. That's not what I'm saying. Think about it. Cammy's pretty much useless to us, but she's also useless to the church. They want people to brainwash. I bet animals aren't even on their radar. They went after Cosmo. Cosmo's mind is way more advanced than ours. His intelligence makes him weak to the promise, just like Rocket. Thanks, but not an animal. What I'm saying is we know someone with an entire beast army, and I bet Raker hasn't even looked twice at her. How can you be certain she is not one of them? Guardians of the Gut! Nope, she's good. You do realize she still wants to flay us and feed us to her babies? Guys, this is it. Okay, our one last long shot. We've got to find a way to apologize and make things right. Okay, we'll, we'll get her a gift. A peace offering. I ain't going back in a cage. No, no, but think bigger. Way bigger. The one beast that she'd want more than any other. Max knows what I'm talking about. Oh, yes! Oh, no, 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 no. Here it comes! You know where we're going. To Mach To battle the legendary Fin Fang Foom!